I spent the last week working just 15 minutes a day on marketing to teach you how to create a system to quickly and easily create marketing campaigns like this. So you can grow your business without spending all day staring at a blank screen or feeling overwhelmed wondering what to do next. And the best part is this will work for you no matter what level you're at right now or what kind of business market or industry you're in. Because I figure when it comes to marketing, time and not knowing what to do next are probably the two biggest things you struggle with most. So let me show you how it's done. And it all starts with this simple five five-part framework. So let me break it down for you now so you can create profitable and high converting marketing campaigns faster than ever before. The very first thing you need to do if you want to create marketing quickly is to first make sure that what you're creating is actually something that your market wants. After all, whether you're spending 15 minutes or 15 hours, it doesn't make sense to work on something that was doomed to fail right from the start. So this means doing a quick search on your business and identifying a few key topics, keywords, and questions that your audience wants to know. Fortunately, search engines like Google and YouTube make this part pretty quick and really easy. First, head over to Google and type in your business or industry. Then see what the autocomplete suggests. This is a good indication of what other people are searching for right now. After that, Pick something that looks interesting, hit submit, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and find related searches. And again, you're presented with another list of possible topics and titles. Write down a few of your favorites and then head over to YouTube and repeat the process, starting with the search bar and entering your business or industry. Then seeing what comes up in the autocomplete, from there, finding something relevant and hitting submit. But then, rather than scrolling down to the related searches section like you would on Google, here you're simply going to look through the video titles and see if anything sounds interesting or like some kind of content that you could create. And an important note here too, you can use YouTube to search for all kinds of content ideas, not just video content. Because what you're looking for here are signals, clues, and proof for what topics and titles are working right now. Once that's done, Write down a few more of your favorite ideas and this part's pretty much done. The beauty is that the whole search process shouldn't take more than about five minutes in total and it'll give you some really good content marketing ideas to build on. So let's move on to step two, structure. To help my clients and students quickly create effective marketing content, I came up with the 531 structure that's both simple and incredibly effective. It essentially states that every piece of content you create, at least when you're trying to do it quickly like we are here, should have five parts, three points, and one booster. Now for step two, structure, this step shouldn't take much more than about 10 minutes because you're not creating or filling out your marketing content yet just outlining it and giving it some structure so you can fill it in later. So let me explain the five through one structure now. The five parts consist of first an introduction, next the three points you're gonna cover, and finally a summary that wraps it all up with a call to action that tells the audience what to do next. Now the introduction is pretty straightforward, so as the old saying goes, just tell them what you're gonna tell them. For an example of this, you can pretty much just scroll back and rewatch the beginning of this video right here, where this is exactly what I do to get us started. The summary is also pretty straightforward in that you're going to quickly recap what you've just said or why it's important. The key thing here though is that you always want to include a CTA, also known as a call to action, that tells the audience what they need to do next. Could be to click, to call, to read, to buy, or anything really but you need to provide some kind of continuation. Otherwise, you kind of just leave them hanging and all of the value and goodwill you've just built will be completely lost. So that leaves the three main points and the one booster to cover next. The three main points that you cover are the main meat of the content, the body, the actual content itself. There's a famous rule in marketing and more specifically copywriting called the rule of three and it's some pretty powerful stuff. Long story short, the rule of three is everywhere and has been for a very, very long time because it works. I mean, just think of the three little pigs, the three blind mice, Goldilocks and the three bears, the three musketeers, the three wise men, and the three stooges. Not to mention popular phrases like blood, sweat, and tears, stop, drop, and roll, location, 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 life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The rule of three also shows up time and time again in lists and articles and is heavily used in comedy with the structure of setup, anticipation, and punchline. Okay. Let's talk about the booster. When creating content quickly, you're not gonna wanna spend a ton of time prettying it up. Your goal here isn't to create the next great American novel or Hollywood blockbuster. You just wanna create marketing that provides value gets attention, and helps you grow your business. And this is where beefing it up just a little goes a really long way. 
So here you want to quickly look back through your content and find an area that you could add a story, a quote, a statistic, or a study. Basically something to enhance the marketing experience. This helps give your marketing material a little more weight and context and interest. If you can find a relevant image or graphic, that's a great place to start as it enhances your message due to something called the picture superiority effect, which refers to the phenomenon in which pictures and images are more likely to be remembered than are just plain old boring words. Just like this image from Cool Infographics graphics shows. Ah. Okay, so now that you've got your outline, it's time to fill it out, which leads you to step three, scribe or transcribe. Let me explain. At this stage, you have an idea and an outline. So now it's time to create some content and to do it quickly. The key here is to find your content creation style of choice, and you have three options to choose from. First, if you're okay at writing or typing, I guess, then feel free to hammer away at the keyboard until you've got some words on the page. From there, you can post it as is, narrate it to create audio content, or record it on video for use across pretty much any social media network out there. But if writing isn't your thing, I bet you can talk, especially about your business or industry. So grab a voice recorder, your phone or computer will work just fine start talking. Most people talk at a rate of around 100 to 130 words per minute, while the average typing speed is only around 40 words per minute, so this might just be a faster approach for you. Plus, everybody's heard of writer's block, but nobody's ever heard of talker's block, which is the reason that sometimes just talking is one of the fastest and easiest ways to get marketing content out there. Once you have your audio recording, you can post it as audio content, you can transcribe it into text using any number of free or paid online transcription services, and you now have both audio and text content. Of course, the content style that'll give you the most freedom, flexibility, and bang for your marketing buck is video content, because not only can you post the video, you can also strip away the audio, and you now have audio content. And you can transcribe that audio, and you now have text content as well. This is the approach that I take, but you do you. I'd much rather see you creating some kind of content rather than getting stuck and not taking any action at all. So find what works best for you and make it happen. Now this step where you actually create the bulk of your marketing content is admittedly the biggest. And if my math adds up correct, so far we spend five minutes on step one and 15 minutes on step two. So for this part, step three, we're gonna use all 15 minutes and borrow the 10 minutes we saved from step one. So, so far, still on track. So let's move on to step four, syndicate. One of the biggest sins in marketing is staying silent, unheard, ignored, or forgotten. After all, having the best business, product, or service in the world doesn't mean a thing if nobody knows about you. This is why being top of mind to your audience really does equal more sales and more growth. And the more often you can appear in front of them, the better. Of course, we're working with limited time here, so we need to be smart. And that means syndicating which is basically just taking your content and publishing it to a number of different places, either at the same time or carved up and spread out throughout the week. When I ran this little experiment of working on marketing for just 15 minutes a day, syndicating my content is how I was able to share that content across a number of different platforms. And the strategy I developed for this, I call pillar post piece. So let me break that down for you now. First, I took my main content, my pillar content. This was a video I recorded for YouTube. It wasn't fancy, it wasn't pretty, and I edited it using an automatic editing plugin called ReCut to help me remove all the silences in between takes automatically and put it all together into something watchable, but I didn't do anything else to it. Then I took the video and transcribed it into text using Rev.com. It's a paid service, but there are other free alternatives out there as well. I then shared this text with my email list, which became one of my posts. I also took short 30 second clips from the video and uploaded them into another software I use called Clipscribe, which helped me create more posts posts for social media. And don't worry, I'll put links to all of the software I used in the description below this video. Then I created my piece content. I took more clips from the video and uploaded them as stories on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and took a few more of the more valuable parts and turned them into tweets as well. And that's it. One piece of content spliced and diced and syndicated into a bunch of different pieces of marketing that could be spread out and used throughout the week. Step four took about 20 minutes, which means I ate into the next step's time by five minutes. So we're gonna have to make sure to keep this next step as short and efficient as possible if I wanna stick to my promise of marketing for just 15 minutes a day. So let's dive into it now. Step four, five is to share and is really just here to make sure that all your hard work pays off. Fortunately, we can probably get this all done in 10 minutes or less. You see, when it comes to creating marketing of any kind, there are three key elements. You need to produce and to actually create something because, well, it's kind of hard to market your business without any marketing, but you already got that part covered. Then you need to publish which means pushing your marketing out to the world and making it available to other people. This sounds obvious, but you probably wouldn't be surprised to hear that while a lot of people make content, very few actually ever hit that publish button and send it out into the world where it can actually do some good. 
This part should be done too in step four when you syndicated it. And then lastly, we have promote which is the sharing part and making sure that it gets in front of the people that actually need to see it and can benefit from it. And that's why the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is check out the video I have linked up right here on digital marketing, which is going to give you some of my best marketing tips and tricks. So make sure to check it out now and I'll see you in the next video. All right, the next thing that'll really help you become a better digital marketer is to understand the differences between strategy